Hey everyone, my name is Drew, and we are here. This is going to be week number 10 of the ICBA. This is going to be our final week, and uh, we're coming off of a really interesting win. So we pretty much have our playoff spot locked. I'm pretty sure we are guaranteed a spot with our overall record and differential, but uh, we're going to be pretty much playing for seeding, and a high seed would honestly probably be a really preferable looking how, with how this playoff picture is kind of looking right now. Uh, and we are up against Diet Tight. Uh, we are 2 0 against Die with two uh, Necrozma wins. Uh, Necrozma has just had his number pretty much completely, but uh, we don't have a Necrozma this time. Unfortunately, we do have to go in with this team right here, and he has a very, very scary team. So I'm going to get out of the way a little bit, but uh, he's going to have the Raikou, Darmanitan, Swellow together, and those three are the mods that I'm most afraid of. But uh, he's also going to have a Heckin Deoxys, which has, oh my god, since the PCL and Heckin Danza against my Magirna, that's haunted me for quite a while. Uh, Decidueye, which I love, and a Koma O, which I know how scary that can be. I'm going to get right into this matchup, but um, I feel like I match up okay. I wasn't too, too concerned about some of the mods that he brought. Um, I didn't know what to think though right uh he left a handful of strong threats on the bench so already i'm a little bit uh concerned about what he could have brought but here we see leads off of the como so right off the bat i'm thinking just standard rocks lead and i feel like i can get a will-o-wisp off i still think this is going to be decently offensive and it can eq me it can do whatever it can to me but this is a really defensive infernape with willow and slack off if i'm not mistaken but uh he does go for the rocks lead and uh from here i'm going to be able to just u turn out oh so this infernape was actually for his pincer i wanted to be able to willow the pincer and kind of pivot in and out against it but he has a very very scary team overall he did not bring a lot of threats uh also i wanted to be able to willow us the bisharp and potentially the landers as well but he goes for the focus blast and swampert's gonna be able to come in on that pretty decently well so it, it turns out that it's a special uh coma o and it's gonna be really scary because i really meant to neutralize it with willow us but it, it's not even going to make that much of a difference here and uh, i'm gonna have to try to eat up a focus blast here and deal damage back to this coma o but at the very least, it's probably going to mean that it doesn't have Focus Blast or Drain Punch. And I am able to get off Rocks, which is going to be pretty important for the rest of the match. But uh, I probably should have gotten some damage off er as early as I could. And now it looks like it's going to be a huge, huge roll for another Focus Blast to be able to take me out. And it's going to be a huge question as to whether or not it will take me out. So from here, he's going to hit the fo another Focus Blast. And I'm just going to have to hope that I can take one. And I just barely do. I'm able to get an Earthquake off. And I can see from this that this is a pretty darn uh, defensive coma. Oh, turns out that it's max HP. In the match, I thought it was max HP, max defense because it just took that hit so well. But apparently that's just how well coma -Oh takes those types of hits. So I guess that's just going to have to um, be something that I have to deal with now. And I don't have my Lele, which my Lele would have been able to absolutely deal with this. Maybe he, I don't know, was confident enough that I wouldn't bring it because of... Salazzle, I guess. I'm not even too too sure. Maybe to the pincer, but regardless, um, I'm he is going to claim scales me, which honestly threw me way the heck off because just off of these first three moves, right? Uh, focus blast, clanging scales, and stealth rocks. Tapu Lele would have perfectly dealt with this thing, but I do bring in this thing because uh, I feel like it's just going to. Wants to focus blast me, and here he reveals a flamethrower, which I did not expect that I should have. I thought he would want to pack another coverage move, especially when focus blast did so much damage to me. But I end up leech cheating because I thought I thought I was either going to take a focus blast better, and judging based off the damage, maybe it would have been around a two KO. I'm not too too sure. Maybe I would have been able to take another one, or I could have played for a miss or something like that. But I also thought he might want to switch out, fearing me to do anything really. So. Um, or, or just for me to be able to take a hit in this situation. And now this Como -Oh is just kind of here and I don't know what to do against it. But he is going to uh, double into his, or just go out into his Decidueye. And uh, here, he probably did expect me to protect. Protect was pretty obvious here. And uh, that is exactly what I went for. But now this thing, I'm just going to have to deal with it. I, I don't want to really just let this thing uh set up for free this thing could be sword dance i know i've uh set up pretty aggressively with a sword dance decidueye but from here he's going to be able to 
Uh, do whatever the heck he wants. I hope he does a quick U-turn. That's going to be worst case scenario. Just goes for the defog, which is uh, honestly looking okay for me. However, however, I do have to be worried of the fact that now his Como, oh, it, now that I know how defensive his Como is, his Como is really darn free against me to just set, kind of set up rocks again. So that's going to be super duper scary for me. And now I kind of have to try to scare this thing off with foul play or, or uh, Dark Pulse or something to that effect. And he ends up going out into the coma oh and now again he's very very free to uh kind of uh click rocks again but here's the thing right this is actually a no offensive move umbreon this is sub sub toxic wish baton pass because i felt like i really needed momentum in this matchup i felt like i desperately needed momentum in this matchup and this would be the best type of momentum that i could get in this matchup and if i could pass around subs that would have been banana momentum for the overall look of this match. So, I ended up just setting up a sub, and the fact that he went so aggressively into this combo, I felt like we did the land the focus blast, and I would be able to get some momentum for free, or he would, um, or he would miss a focus blast, and I can pass along a sub onto another mon. But he lands it. It does allow my Infernape in, but I don't think I can KO this thing straight up. I just am forced to go for a close combat, try to hit this thing. And remember, I'm defensive. I'm a reasonably defensive uh, Infernape, and I just barely miss out on the KO, which means that he's going to be able to take me out. Um, or no, he's going to be able to set up rocks again. So he did give up this Como, but at this point, he's so far ahead of me that I'm not even too, too sure what I can do. Right? And I don't know if he's really figured out my Umbreon set right now, but so far, I've just revealed... Um, sub and baton pass he might assume that i'm wish he might think that i'm toxic maybe you know maybe that well that was enough information that i gave him to be able to know that i am uh no offensive moves but uh he's gonna be able to play off of my umbreon a at least a little bit so now my infernape's in here uh i i did build it defensively but it's also uh had its defenses dropped through close combat and he's gonna be able to bring in his swello and i feel like this is going to be this is still going to be able to do some stuff for me later on in the match i sack off this thing or i try to which i don't know maybe, maybe i shouldn't have maybe this respects I, I don't know oh actually i i think uh, from memory he showed me and it was a uh, silk scarf so i was going to be able to switch up moves so i guess it didn't really end up mattering a whole heck of a lot but uh i'm going to try to protect i'm going to try to just scout out if you would you if he would you turn in the situation if he would do anything different but um realistically He's fine to just click Moon Burst again, and uh, I'm really, I really don't have a counterplay here. But uh, from here, I'm gonna go down, and I have to figure out something to do because my Umbreon's pretty useless. Uh, and with me being down, like, like if I was, if if this was, if this match was more even, then my Umbreon looks really interesting here. But as it is, I just kind of have to um, throw it out here and try to build up a little bit of momentum for myself. So here, I can set up a wish. Oh no, I might have been wish protect. Sub, wish protect, sub, uh, I'm not too, too sure. Regardless, I can see how well I, I take these hits. And I'm going to try and, uh, like, if you better take this hit, go for the toxic. So yeah, that is my full set. Now, for sure, he knows my full set. And it's just going to be toxic, uh, sub, baton pass, and wish. And I am going to get my wish back. I'm going to be able to kind of 1v1 this Swellow. But he's going to be able to play off of my Umbreon set now. It's going to be very, very free setup for him in the overall uh, look of this match. And now he knows it. And he's going to use her out directly into something that can take advantage of my Umbreon. And I would hope that I click Baton Pass here. But I wouldn't even be able to tell you. He wasn't a Darmanitan. So I'm not too too afraid of, of Darmanitan. I'm still kind of thinking that my Infernape can kind of 1v1 this uh, Darmanitan, but by me going for sub, I gave him a very, very free turn, which honestly was really dumb of me. He knows my set already. Um, he knows that he knows that whatever he goes into, if it has sub, it can dodge it can dodge Toxics from me by clicking a sub of its of its own. If it's as long as it's faster than Umbreon. So, it didn't make a whole lot of sense for me to do that, but now he reveals that he's your belly drum, and now I kind of think that I've lost here, because uh, I'm not going to be able to really withstand much, and then he reveals Salic Berry as well, so, um, 
I'm trying to think of a counterplay. I really don't have many counterplays in this in this overall matchup. But my wish is going to come true. I'm going to be able to baton pass for some momentum here. Maybe I'm going to try to be able to do something here. But uh, the fact of the matter is that this thing is at plus one. It outspeeds uh, pretty much my entire team. The only thing that I have left in the back is Scarf Thunderous. And uh, I'm going to... I don't know what else I could really do against a plus six star Manitan. Our Manitan is just so strong. And at plus six... Uh, that that's your bo sheer force boosted uh fire punch at plus six uh i do go into my inferno maybe i can take a hit um if you went a little bit crazy with coverage and, and doesn't really have the best coverage for my infernape but he does have the eq and eq fire punch is really gonna be all that he needs here so i'm trying to think of what i can do i'm trying to think of what i can do and uh my only real thinking here is i can go into my thunderous which again is scarfed it, I, I will be able to outspeed uh, after the salic berry um i know that my u-turn doesn't break the sub and i know that my ice shard doesn't break the sub but i'm gonna have to use them together to break the sub so i'm, so I'm gonna u-turn out and sack off my umbreon here and after that my mammoth spine's gonna be able to come in break the sub and then at least get me back one 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 singular differential point by being able to uh, Thunderbolt into the Darmanitan and uh, pick up a KO. But I'm going to have to play this out decently well. Um, And yeah, I don't know, man. This this match just got away from me. Darmanitan just did everything that I needed to do. This was incredibly one-sided. I've never really had many answers, but again, okay, so let's go through this, right? But honestly, just look at what he left on the bench. He left in Mega Mawile, which was the, the entire reason for me bringing my Infernape. He left behind a Toxapex. He left behind a Zorark and a Pyloswine, a heckin' Pyloswine. Um, he just, he, he didn't even have to bring so much of his bigger threats. Um, because honestly, Darmanitan, I'm, I left myself so soft at Darmanitan. Um, but regardless, uh, th these are going to be the last few turns. I'm finally going to be able to let this thing in. I can finally get a Thunderbolt off and maybe pick up one more KO. Maybe if I'm super duper lucky, get another, pick up a second KO and drop the differential down a little bit. But he's going to double out into his uh, AV Raikou. And that's going to be pretty much seal up a 5-0. Which does suck. Does suck. It genuinely does suck. Right? And... Uh, Honestly, if I had not won my previous week, this match alone, I think, would have put me in deep, deep danger of pretty much just losing my playoff spot altogether. But uh, I did have a spot clinch from my win last week, and uh, this match would have brought my differential way, way down and uh, caused me to just kind of uh, lose my way from here. But it's going to be okay. This is just week 10. If there was any time to lose, it's right now from here on. It's just playoffs into the end. We're going to be able to do something with this momentum. We're going to be able to build on this loss and kind of work forward. Regardless, this is going to bring us into the playoffs. We're going to be the seventh seed in the playoffs. That's going to bring us up against Kelly under the radar. We haven't played him all season long, and I'm finally getting a chance. This is going to be super duper exciting. Uh, I cannot be more excited. It's going to be coming out really, really soon. With that, we'll be back really, really soon with more weeks of the PGP League War, with uh, more weeks of the ICBA Playoffs, as well as the AP Academy, which uh, should be back by now, and uh, some other projects coming in the really near future. Once again, with that, thank you guys so much for watching. Once again, out.